welcome one, welcome all. We're just having a laugh over here. Let me go ahead and make sure we got our everything set up. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Welcome you guys. This is Beard Advice Live. If you don't mind on your way in, hit that thumbs up whether you're live now or you're watching in the future. It's always greatly appreciated. Let me check that over there. Yep, looking good, looking good. Uh, if you guys are in here, drop a comment. Let's see what's going on and wow, that's crazy. Eric said it's almost uh, 10 days till Christmas. That's nuts. That's crazy. And I didn't even, so this is another crazy, and we'll get the show going, guys. But we will. another crazy thing is uh, my first winter break not teaching, I literally, to quote Parks and Rec, had no concept that winter break for our school district where my kids go and he teaches is two more days left to school. I had no concept, no idea. How weird is that? That's so weird. That hits, it is that so me, weird, man. I had, when Sam said that, I was like, huh? There's no school next week? So what does that what does that mean to you as a as a person in this house? I don't know. Oh, as, you as got, far you got people here. Yeah. You it, got all the all the people. Yeah, it's challenging for sure. I always get my my nap time and after bedtime. So I'll be alright. I'll be alright. It's good to have family time. But as like work time, a little bit more challenging. But my name's Dan. This is the mayor. Mayor, you looking fly as heck. How you doing? I'm doing all right, guys. Welcome to Beard Advice Live. Like Dan said. This show has been going on for like three plus years. Yep. Uh, is that right? Every Wednesday we've been doing this. We've just started, we've built this momentum with this show, this channel, and we're so glad to have you here. This show's all about helping guys. Growing a beard changed my perspective, has taken me so far in so many different directions. Some of them have really pushed me and challenged me, especially this last year, but it has grown me. You wouldn't even, I don't even recognize myself sometimes. And I'm not guaranteeing that for you, but what I am going to guarantee is that it's a different look when you, you know, try a beard for the first time. Um, trust me, this summer I shaved it off and grew it back again, and that was a tra traumatizing event oh, as yeah. well. Oh, yeah, for me too. I had, like, secondary con secondary contact trauma. But We're okay. this show is Beard Advice Live. We are live, and we give advice on beards in the moment. How you get involved is you send a picture to beardadvicelive at gmail.com and you include a couple of angles that are relevant to your, your topic and let us know what are your goals, what's the problem you're experiencing, what are you looking to get advice on and we help you out and we do this 100% for free and here's a good question on the topic here. Um, we had somebody ask in here, uh, Mr. Lewis says, is it too late to send in pictures? Uh, for tonight, yeah, it is not for the show. We, In fact, we would love for you to. Please don't quit just because you can't have that instant <clears throat> drive through. Uh, you know, some of the best things in life you take a little time to wait for. But please do send in. You would be on next week's. We can't. We don't have any good behind the scenes processing and throwing it together. Um, that would be amazing. But yeah. we're, not, we're not there yet. Who yep. Knows? And if you guys are, are new here, you'll see we have a fully developed show. And that's the only reason why we can't do that is we have a structure that we use to, to display the content. And so if you send in now or all the way until Wednesday morning next week, you'll be on next week's show. And if you're like Jason, we do have a section during the stream where you will get to ask any questions and we dedicate that time to responding to you guys. So Jason, I have starred your question. We'll come back to it during the question segment. So if you guys have something you're like, this has been bothering me, I've been wondering this, I want you to clarify this, hold on to it and then drop it during that question segment. Now, beyond that, we also have some traditions that we've been doing for over three years now. Mayor, what do we got? All right, so we all, you know, we we have both actually been probably the last four months taking taking good care, really good health. Oh, yeah. Last almost year for me has been a change, uh, for, but we do treat ourselves on Wednesday nights. So we have a favorite pop, typically a Mountain Dew. We're gonna go with traditional. I, these have been sitting in the fridge for like a month or two. Yeah, they've uh, been. St do you know how much willpower it takes? I, I figured it was like you're to work in here every day. And to stare at those, it's it's a I have a clear fridge, as some of you know, and they stare at me. They stare at me. And uh, I was like, Mayor wouldn't even notice or care if I just had but Don't I didn't do it. it. I didn't do it, you guys. So yeah, we have a Mountain Dew. What else? Uh we also like a, to have a healthy snack, typically like beef jerky, beef link, beef hunter sausage. Tonight we went going with the hot mingy, which uh Dan I think is a bigger hot mingy guy than me. Okay. I tend to make a mess of it. But he does I make do a mess. enjoy it. But there may be a moment where I choke a bit. Uh, <laughs> hopefully not. It's got those big red peppers, though. We'll see. 
Brian, thank you for asking. Brian's like our point guard on this show. He sets us up with questions. And uh, I did drop a video today about washing your beard, and it is doing really well, you guys. So um, if you haven't had a chance to watch it today, please do it. It is actually driven by your feedback in a YouTube poll that kind of made me do the video. And so I'm excited, and I hope you check it out. Um, there was a lot of people in the comments today that I can tell have not been watching my videos because they're like, hey, you said this four years ago, what has changed? But I've had like update videos all along the way. Uh, but check it out guys, it's a, it's a, a, I think a really helpful one for individual beards, but also I think it can help the beard like reputation, the beard stigma. We don't want to be seen as dirty people. So wash your beard, it's super simple. I'm not dirty. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. I've never considered you dirty or stinky. Mm -hmm. And also, guys, Even I have the no deodorant days. <laughs> yeah, I never smelled it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would tell you, but today is day three of 12 days of Beardsmiths. Go make sure you guys watch that after the stream. Enter the giveaway. Learn a history lesson. The history lesson is actually about the person with the world's longest beard in history. So mm -hmm. check it out. It's He's got a really fascinating life. Really, really fascinating life. You, uh, I have some good news for you. Ooh, okay. Well, I think we used to know this and we kind of forgotten through the years that the Mingy Hot and the regular Mountain Dew is a fantastic it's couple. combo. It's that pair? Yeah, so okay. look forward to that. That's good. That's good. And uh, welcome on in, everybody. I, I appreciate you all being there. Austin, uh, anybody have split ends? Most people get them occasionally. Uh, they are not good. They're never good, right? Shedding is natural. Hair's falling out with a white bulb at the end is going to happen. It has to happen. Split ends should not happen, but stuff happens. Stuff comes up in life. If you see them, cut them, and then move on. Try to figure out what's causing them and, and adjust from there. All right, guys. Um, so, yeah, we got this. We got this. We're excited. We are in the, the holiday season, ramping up for all, all, the, all the stuff that comes along with it, and Ooh. I'm excited. And beyond that... I think we jump right in today. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, we got a packed show, which we appreciate dearly. Uh, so please, guys and girls out there, send in. We want you to be a part of the show next week, okay? Uh, next week. It would be pretty amazing to, to hear uh, from more people for the first time. And uh, the Mr. Uh, Mr. Dud, we have starred your, your comment, and then we will put that on at the question segment. So thank you for sending in. All right, Beard Advice Live. That looks pretty. That looks real pretty. I you like that. You got like a theme going. Yeah, I like. And then I mess it up with the things. So <laughs> the one I do. I like clean wall yeah, backgrounds. Yeah, yeah. If you guys actually look really closely at my thumbnail images, almost all of them have a wall as a background. Most people don't notice that, but uh, that's a little uh, a little tidbit where you'll be like, oh, I see that. I see that. Now we do have something special tonight, you guys. We don't normally do this on Beard Advice Live. But I want to put this in. Hey, Donald, thank you, sir. Hey. Oh, wow, that's got, like, cool little uh, graphic Fireworks. on it. Fireworks or snowflakes, something like that. A mix of snow fireworks making snowflakes. And there's a wind, because it is windy outside. You know that? It's breezy. Oh, it there's is. I know. It morning. was when you looked at the uh, the weather symbol today, it was windy. I know. It's, it's a cold one out there. Uh, but yes, we do have something special tonight. This is not normal, but let's check it out. We got a couple of things going on today, guys. We are doing some Beard Advice Live giveaways. Now, I didn't put this in the title. I didn't put this in the description. There's no Gleam link. We're going to do this one a little bit different today. A little bit different, uh, but we have them. Hey, Live Bearded, welcome on in. I'm guessing that's Nate. Shout out to my man. Uh, but a little bit different today as far as the giveaways, and I will explain. And we are featuring Johnny Ray's tonight. So a couple of things. Number one, they have launched their own beard wash bar. I've had a chance to test it. Several other people in the chat right now have had a chance to test it, and it's wonderful. It's very different from the Bearded Mac, in case you're wondering. Very different, hmm. but it's absolutely wonderful. And this is a great blend, great company. Both the mayor and I have met the owners of this company in person. And man, they are really, really, really nice people. Very intelligent. Doug, our moderator, one of our best friends, he says uh, it's a great wash. It really is. So if you want to try another, if you're like, man, I love the Bearded Mac wash bar, this is one that will have a nice little balance so you can rotate your washes. And it's out today. Dancy 10 is going to save you 10% off. But here's a little bit extra, guys. Here's a little bit of a bonus for you in the holiday season. 
If you order any oil, butter, or balm tonight from Johnny Ray's, you do have to use my code. That was specified by them. Um, if you if you order an oil, balm, or butter, you get a free wash bar added in. Wow, that's cool. How's the candle? I don't know. I don't think I don't think I've gotten a candle yet. If I have, I gave it to Sam and forgot, and I apologize. <laughs> uh, so Vince K, the uh, the whiskey and hardtack solid beard wash bars are the bearded Mac ones now. Same exact formula, same exact product. So when I refer to the bearded Mac, it's that those same ones. So it's different, but it's great. So we're going to be doing that tonight, guys. If you use this code, Dancy10, you get this free wash bar over here. You can use it gentle daily. It's amazing. It's four ounces. And it goes with any any oil, butter, and balm. How's the candle? It's lit. Yeah, there you go. Hey. And uh, and then let me run through this real quick. And it's fragrance. If you also, on top of that, guys, we're going to be doing three different giveaways. One, two different beard wash bars and one candle. And the fragrance winner can choose between 1947, Clarity, Embark, or London Fog. All of them are great. I highly recommend Clarity as the number one. <clears throat> Uh, different as in stripping? No, Brad, not what's not at all. Different as in like the structure of it. Different as in the way it works. Uh, the if you guys have tried the bearded Mac or the old whiskey and hard tech one, it seems like it has like rice in it or something else. This one is not. This is just a solid bar. And here's Donald who has also tried it, and he said the wash bar from Johnny Ray Nate is fantastic, soft, relaxing, and has goat's milk cream feeling without the goat's milk. There you go. I like that. Is there a link to Johnny Ray's? Yeah, let me go ahead and grab that for you. I appreciate you asking. We'll change the banner at the bottom for the Beard Advice Live so you guys can see this one here. Mayor, have you tried uh, Johnny Ray's yet? The London Fog. Yeah, I had some samples from when we had our uh, oh, yeah. meetup. Uh, London Fog is my favorite. For awesome, sure. awesome. Butter's really good. You were right the other day. I was kind of talking about how I'd slacked on my butter game. You kind of yeah. looked at me like, I think you, in the way that only you can, you're kind of like, <laughs> I think you're missing out. Yep. You know, and, and you were kind of right, especially this time of year as it dries out and you're inside more. Big time. Yeah, my shedding increases immensely when I don't use when I don't use butter, like immensely. So um, using it right now is more important for me than ever. All right, guys, I will throw a link in the chat right now that should get the job done for you. Yep, beautiful. And I will pin it as the, the top comment so you guys have that. Thank you for asking. Um, and hop on that, guys. We're going to be doing those giveaways. They're going to be entirely free, but they're going to be a different entry method. And we'll explain where we go. What is a barbershop scent? A barbershop is its literally a scent that you would expect in the barbershop. There's a couple different varieties. I Normally, it will have some kind of talcum powder smell, some kind of bay rum, fresh, clean smell to it. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of differences uh, that you have. And uh, if you're buying oil or butter from Johnny Ray's, Clarity all the way. Clarity is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ellie likes uh, Embark and Nirvana. Awesome, and guys. And I like London Fog. Yeah, London Fog's oh, yeah, really good. good. Hannah is the other owner, other, yeah. uh, other side of Nate, and says the candles are coconut soy wax, so burns really clean. Eight-ounce candles with wood wicks. Nice. There you go. All right, guys. So keep that feedback coming, you guys. 40-hour burn time. I am definitely not a candle connoisseur, but I do enjoy them. I like candles. Uh, They're satisfying to me. So that'll work. Cool. Got that, got that, got that. And to reward those of you that show up nice and early, we're going to go right away with a giveaway. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, baby. It is giveaway time. We're going to give away one of these beard wash bars. Now, since both owners are in here, and this was kind of a spur of the moment thing, it's not a full commands corner or anything like that. And... Uh, these oils, Roger, are medium viscosity. I would say a straight up medium viscosity. And uh, Diablo says, feeling beard on Johnny Ray's is phenomenal. So we're gonna do this right away, guys. Yep, medium viscosity on the oil here. We are gonna have a trivia challenge tonight for these giveaways. And they're gonna be related to the videos that I post on this channel. Why? Because I wanna reward people that watch the videos and retain the information. You guys know I have Double digit giveaways every single week. Now, every single day with 12 de days of Beersmiths. Some days, multiple days. Monday will be double. Wednesday's double. Uh, we, we have, we got a lot of giveaways. The trivia may not be the most perfect one, but it's a nice switch up. It's a nice change as we go through, okay? So, what you're gonna do on the trivia questions, I will ask the question, 
Do not answer before I say the word go. Once I say the word go, officially after asking a question, you type your answer, and then let me talk to you here real quick. You only get to enter once, one entry on, on the question, and it's gonna be the first person that shows up on our screen that will win it. The internet will prioritize your answer ahead of everybody else. Meaning when you hit enter, it's gonna show up on your screen right away. That doesn't mean that's the order that it gets to with us. We get hundreds of answers that are gonna be coming all around the world, and they have to get funneled into a single file list through YouTube on our screen. We have to go with that with that order, all right? I just gotta say something, okay? Yep. I've been watching a lot of podcasts. Okay. So, so when it comes up, and, and it always does, every time this year, I'm always like, Steve, you gotta watch the you gotta watch them when they come out. I'm behind. I'm behind on the twelve. I'm twelve days. Oh wow! So, so you're gonna hit me with the question, and and here I am. I'm gonna be sitting here again. Okay. It won't happen again during like I got one more week. But okay. Uh, just to be real with you though, I've been, I've been watching podcasts. You know, we, we we've got our thing going on. I've been kind of getting a dagger into that. to the heart, man. Man, but I'm saying it now. I I had to put it's it a out dagger. there. You guys, this is my hardest working part of the year, like by far. This. If people could understand the grueling grind behind doing my normal content, which nobody usually ever comes near, like touching the amount of, and then add every day, and these are my most researched videos, Dude, they're brutal. They're I brutal. Like to, I, like, I do like to take them, I like, I'll wait till there's three, since I'm not playing the game, Yeah. and I'm not being, I'm not just trying to make excuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll do three or four, and I'll just go boom, 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 all in a row, like, I don't know, like kind of a binge. Appreciate it. Uh, you're still killing it. Thank you. I and I, I am. I'm not. The the quality does not go. I, I think these are some of my best videos I've ever done. Like I love it. Absolutely love yeah, it. Yeah, Mitch. I definitely told it myself I have a way of doing that. <laughs> uh, but that's how we are. Uh, I guys. I usually have a way of wearing off of people. I am unbelievably transparent. I there's never a secret. You could tell Sam. You could tell Steve. It just doesn't exist. So and I think you should all live like that too. I think it's better. Okay. So a trivia question, you need to wait until I say the word G-O to put your answer, and then I will tell the mayor the answer afterwards, and I'll show him so he can verify who was actually first on here, okay? And, and I'll pull these things up as I, as I go through so I can make sure that it's been uh, a video that I have actually, actually done already. <laughs> so let's go with, okay. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. One word answer. One word answer, and if you haven't seen these videos yet, I'm sorry, but this one is just going to be based off of those. You can enter 12 Days of Beards Miss tomorrow. You can enter Monday's Commands Corner. There's tons of ways to get giveaways. These ones are for the people watching the videos and uh, in a timely manner. And this one's going to be the most timely. My question to you would be, what country was Hans Langseth born in? Go. What country... Was Hans Langseth born in? Give a shot here. And uh, yeah, some of you already had answers uh, locked and loaded already. Oh, wow. Okay, we got a bunch. All right, we do have a correct answer, and we had a bunch of wrong answers to begin with. So now some of the right ones are, are rolling in. And I know, some, I know many of you guys watch, and maybe you don't retain every detail. That's okay. We got a reward, though, somehow. So Hans Langseth is the guy who has the longest beard in the history of the world. He grew up in Iowa in the United States. However, he was born in Norway. Born in Norway, and the first one on the screen, pretty simple to see here, verified by Mayor, is Willie D. Willie D, congratulations, man. Hey, Willie D, reach out to Johnny Rays. You can reach out to them on Instagram, or Hannah or Nate are going to put the email in the chat right now for me, and you will contact them. Uh, and this is for the Beard Wash Bar. So this will get the conversation started here. Congrats, Willie. So yeah, he was born in uh, in Norway. Um, so look for the contact information. All you got to do is get a hold of this company and say, hey, man, it's Willie D. I won the giveaway in Dan's uh, channel, and I won a Beard Wash Bar. And by the way, guys, we're going to do another bar giveaway, and we're going to do a candle giveaway. All right. I was first. Okay. So we got to go over this, guys. <laughs> Hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully Mike is joking here, but he says, I was first, eyes rolling. Mike, I wish you were, uh, but you were nowhere near first. <laughs> so when we look here, again, guys, it prioritizes your answer. When you hit enter, it shows up on your screen right away. 
It takes time to get through the internet. Keep in mind, everybody else watching right now, when they hit enter, it shows up on their screen right away. So we had the first one was Willie D. Uh, Mike, you weren't even second. Second was Mark Johnson, and then Roger, and then Jerry Mack, and then Mike. So Mike, you were like fifth or sixth, man. So <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't even close on that one. Uh, but it, <laughs> he, uh, but we always, and this, guys, by the way, I love Mike. Uh, this is how we used to run giveaways, and the internet prioritizing, and, and a few different reasons, management stuff, but... It's fun. It's fun sometimes to it do is. these these giveaways and have a little uh, a little change up and see what we have. The other ones, my Wi-Fi sucks. Oh no, you you're right. That's not blaming that. When your internet is off, it can change the way it shows up on your screen. So uh, you're act actually correct there. You're correct. But I'm glad it wasn't like a rush of Norway's. I like to ask it where it's not impossible, but it does kind of split yeah, the pack a little bit. You know, I feel because you feel like. If they all dump it at the same time, because you'll get a chunk of comments at a time. Yeah, exactly. Um, Jenny, yeah, it was, so it was 17 and a half feet, his beard. But when he died, they believed it was over 18 feet. All right, so Johnny Ray's, either Nate or uh, the company Johnny Ray, or Hannah, if you, could drop, uh, if you could drop your email, that would be great. I'll save it so I can star it and I can keep coming back to it. Uh, so if you guys are able to drop that email or if anybody knows their email, Drop it in a comment, and I will highlight that one. Hopefully it lets you. I think it should. Worst case scenario, I'll get it and then and then be able to put it on there. Um, Nate and Hannah, if it's not letting you send an email, which sometimes YouTube will, like, censor those things, you can send me a message on Instagram, and I'll put it up. Okay. Yeah, and, yep, it is now on display in the Smithsonian. Absolutely. So go watch that video, guys, if you haven't yet. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yep, yep, Scott, absolutely, man. I We understand. That's why I don't do it most times. But this one was a spur of the moment. And I will say, a shot at it is better than no shot. So that's a good thing. All right, let's get this started. This is Marshall A. I've been growing for about three months now. What can I do for a fuller, better trimmed beard? There we go, Gus. Easy breezy oh. question. Boom. All right, we got Marshall. So three months here. Marshall, beard's looking great, man. Love the color first and foremost. He says, what can I do for a fuller better trimmed beard so with that feedback being in your kind of world here a little bit yeah what would be your your feedback for marshall a not to be confused with marshall thomas okay okay so i first of all think you have for a three-month beard with red a red beard which is typically a little bit it just takes more time to get full you're doing really really well one of the things you can look at is um like how you're using heat. Are you blow drying? Are you think, are thinking about a heated brush? That could be something that could kind of control and bring it down. But uh, heat will give you a fuller, like more wrapped look like with my beard. And and I think if you're staying fuller, that's what I'm thinking is your next step, honestly, is to start brushing those sides down and bringing it in. Now on the cheeks, you know, with red hair, it's going to be a little bit thinner. Um, the, the idea is to not tr to trim as little as possible and let that hair curl up, let it kind of block and you'll get that fuller look, but that certainly will take some time. I would think uh, it could be a, a good a good six months to a year before you're kind of seeing that potential and filling in there, but definitely don't take it out. Don't mess with your cheek lines. For sure. I, I agree entirely on this one. I would also say, and I don't know if this is just a styling thing, Marshall, or not, but your beard does look uneven. This side is way out more than this one. Uh, so with, with that feedback, I would either trim it even or I would work on the styling even, or maybe it was just a fluke, but we can only go by what we have given here right now. So I would look at, at, at trimming that down, let the mustache grow. You wouldn't believe how much growing out a mustache will bring in fullness of the beard. It's almost like an optical illusion. When you take away the mustache, it can impact how the beard looks. Uh, but other than that, man, your beard, I don't think anybody would ever say that was not a full beard. Like I don't think that would no. cross anyone's mind. So uh, I think that you're off to a really good start, man. Keep it going. If you want the, the bigger, fuller beard, the best way to do that is going to be letting it grow, going for a couple more months, man. And uh, Willie D or anybody that wins tonight, here is the email to reach out to the company. It is johnnyraycompany at gmail.com. All right, johnnyraycompany 
at gmail.com. Uh, and yeah, man, and having uh, having a red beard, really pump that mustache. Bring it, man. You you got it. Pump that mustache. Let it grow. You got a great beard coming along, dude. No worries whatsoever. All right. Good there, man? Good there. Okay. Check this real quick. Okay. All right. We got a different email. I think hopefully that one will work too here. All right. Let's see this one. Audible, audible, audible. The full. Okay. Here we go, guys. We have info at Johnny info at johnnyray.com to claim your your giveaway. Uh, either one of those emails should work, but this is that that official official. And uh, I don't know the exact answer, Mike, but I believe so. Mike says, do we have until midnight or end of the show for the deal? I believe that they will extend this to midnight. Um, if they do not, uh, or if they cannot, they'll clarify in the chat. But I don't feel like I'm going out on much of a ledge here to say that they will run this one uh, until uh, until midnight. Awesome. Thank you, Hannah. Yeah, I'll keep this one up and we'll keep going through that. Uh, but Hannah and Nate, just verify that we can run that deal until midnight. All right, Marshall. Thank you, sir. This is Jim C. I'm new to the beard thing. I have always wanted, always had a short goatee. I decided to let it grow out. Then I decided to let my beard grow out. I need help on shaping up, and should I use oil, and how should I maintain it? Thanks for the help. Okay. So, Jim, first off, right away, in the chat, we're all we're all seeing the same thing. Should I use oil? Yes. They're good through midnight. Thank you, guys. So that deal's good through midnight, and we will highlight it several times tonight in case you're wondering what deal we're talking about. Uh, the two essentials for beard care are beard oil and beard wash. Right? There's a lot of things we go over on this channel where we just establish a baseline, like a wash routine. Some people should wash every day. Some people should wash every other day. There's no right or wrong answer. But there are some situations where there, are, where there is right or wrong answers. You need to wash your beard and you need to use oil on your beard if you want to have a healthy, robust, nicely looking, nicely smelling beard. Right? There's some people that'll say, hey, man, look at this. I got this bit, or my uncle has this big, huge beard. How does it feel? How does it smell? Like, yeah. what is it, when you get close, how does it actually look? So, yes, beard oil is an absolute must, just like Johnny Ray's, who uh, has a, a really good deal going on tonight. And how should I maintain it? All right, let's take a look, and then we'll come back to these ones here. Awesome, Jim. So I think pretty clearly going from a goatee into the into a, a more full beard, right? Decided to let it grow out. Need some help on shaping it up and then how to maintain it. All right, I'll start this one off, Jim. So you have all the choices in the world here. You could go extreme and cut the goatee down and, and let it grow out evenly. You could continue to do little trims off the bottom while the sides fill in. I would say those would be your two main options that you would have here or anywhere in between. Here's my advice, Jim. I would do a trim right here. I would take off almost two inches. I would go with a little rounded bottom at the, at the longest part. And what I would do is let those sides fill in as this grows. And I would kind of maintain it right here. Maybe every month, take off about an inch. And eventually, those sides are going to catch up to the front. And you're going to have a nice full beard. Extremely important, Jim, is stop, if you're really going for it, stop doing this line on the bottom and let this neck grow out. Because what will happen is, as these sides fill in, you're going to have a gap down here. And you don't want that gap. You want to get these connectors going. So stop trimming the neck. Take off about two inches, a little rounded bottom here. To reference my trim video, some of you will get that. A little rounded bottom here. And then, Mayor, what would you say when he says, how should I maintain this? Um, I would say one of the things you want to work on your, your styling technique, as far as bringing that, you know, I agree with Dan on taking a couple inches off, kind of splitting the difference. Go go right basic. So he asked about oil. Keep that in mind. Oh, and then says, how do yeah. I maintain okay. this? Oil is just going to be twice a day, um, morning and evening. Um, that's, that's not really negotiable. And then... Uh, we recommend, you know, typically with like a, a, a lighter color beer, a gray beard, a castor oil or a thicker oil. But you have to pick and definitely get into the routine of applying oil in the evening and at night. Yep. And then start washing it. Like I said, if you have a, a pretty chill lifestyle, if you're inside, you're not getting sweaty and dirty, try every other day. If you are getting sweaty, you are getting dirty, wash every day. 
and, and kind of figure it out from there. Take baby steps. We don't want to overwhelm you and say, hey, do this and this and this. Wash and oil and then get that nice little lined up trim. You're well on your way, but you clearly have great beard genetics. Great beard genetics. This is going to be a beastly beard, but it is going to take a little bit of time. All right, so you got to have some patience mixed in there as well. Yep, and you know, be you know, pay attention to your amount of oil you're applying to. You know, you you might have different levels with you know because you obviously have longer hair in the front from the goatee originally. For sure, for sure. All right, awesome, man. Thank you for sending in, Jim. This is a cool one. I like seeing the transition from the goatee to the beard. Only thing I would ask for you is maybe in a month or two, send us an update. Yeah. How's the maintenance going? What did you decide to do with your beard? And what is your goal? I think that would be really cool. And, and yeah, I agree with, uh, with Brian. Let the mustache grow out, too. I think you can have a really nice, strong mu- Oh, Jim's in here. Thanks, Jim. I think you could have a really kind of star of the show mustache. Awesome, man. Thank you, Jim. But, yeah, as, as Mitch is saying in there, we oh, yeah, look at that. Update. Like to see an update. We really yeah, would like to see an update, Jim. I have a feeling that you're really going to notice a difference, and you're going to like it. This is Michael S., I need advice on how to deal with humidity. In the mornings before leaving the house, my beard looks amazing. But after just exiting the door here in Texas, on my way to work, it gets all frizzed out. Okay. Now, I did just bite my lip, so okay. everybody knows. Gotcha. <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything, but you know, uh, you all can relate. your first bite, too. It was my Dude. first very bite. Sorry. I have some wicked canines, and when I bite, oh, man, they'll get you. All right, let's take a look at Michael's beard here. Now, prepare yourselves, okay, mentally. Prepare yourselves. Eh. Boom. Look at Michael's beard. Goodness. All right. So he is saying, when I get ready and I look in the mirror, boom, baby. It's dialed in. This thing is is locked. This thing is tight. This baby's loaded. And then I'm over here. Michael, I love both, man. Yeah. I love both. Lean into it. Embrace it. Have situations where you know you're going to be inside and you can dial it in. That's great. Also, lean into this one, man, because you're never going to beat humidity. With a beard like that, with the density, with the texture, with the curliness, you're not going to be able to slap balm on it and win. You're not going to be able to overheat it and win. Humidity is a beast on long beards. It's a beast, man. It's it's almost undescribable and unless thick. somebody's been there. And thick. Yeah. Just the amount of hair. More yep. hair, more curl. Yep. So uh, I would 100%... Lean into this. Both of them look great. They're just yeah. different. The amount of product you would have to put on that to, to try and do anything would be feel this, you know, just feel yeah. horrible, horrible. So product will never be a solution. If it really, really bothered you, what you would do, Michael, is you would have your beard like this and then trim it to the style you want from this state. I don't recommend that. Because you're going to take away a lot of the body, a lot of the volume of the beard. I don't want you to go that route. I like having both in your wheelhouse, right? You got a date night. You're going to be inside. Smart, you got a wedding. You can rock this. But, man, this one's not bad either. And, and I know, dude, I've been there. Trust me. I know in your head you're like, this is how I like it. This is unruly. No. 99 out of 100 people see this, and they go, wow, that's one of the best beards I've ever seen. That one person is you. <laughs> so, yeah, just keep that in mind, man. Your, your beard is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And, and, yeah, it is. Once you step outside, even for me, guys, my, my arch nemesis when I go outside is my French fort starts to split. I can control it inside. When I do videos, you guys don't really see it. But when I go outside and the winds blow and everything, it starts to split. I just, I just accept it, man. You just got to go with it. Yep. And uh, Mike L says, I live in Texas also. Yep, John lives in Florida. You just got to help it. Would bringing a pocket comb with you help? No. Uh, I So I just got back from Florida and Georgia. As you guys know, I got to hang out with Paul. I got to hang out with John, several others in the chat. Uh, Brad, everybody. Once your beard gets to this one from humidity, you can't actually run a comb through your beard. So you're, you're not going to do any good. Yeah. The only thing you're going to do is pull hairs out. Like when I'm in Florida and I and it's in full humidity mode, a, a comb comes nowhere near my beard unless I'm in the shower. Remember, your hairs are more likely to break when they're dry. And so, yeah, I wish, man, but it just it just doesn't. In humidity, 
you're not combing through that curly beard. It's just not going to happen. So, dude, grow it out. I hope, Michael, you read these comments yeah, when you watch this. Like I, this. I don't think you're in here right now, uh, but let's see. We got a Michael. No, I don't think Michael's in here right now. Uh, but if you do watch this in the future, which I think you will, uh, read the comments because both look great. Absolutely both look great, man. So, yeah, keep keep that in mind, dude. It looks really, really, really nice for sure. Uh, Jacob, I thought they were more likely to break when they're wet. No, um, so I made a video on that. That's actually a common misconception. I, I don't even know where that came from. Um, but hairs are 100% provable more elastic when they are wet. Right? If you take a hair now and you try to pull it, here's a good test, guys. Take a hair now and try to pull it. Then when you're in the shower next, try to pull it. Tell me which one is more elastic. And you can really notice this when the hairs fall out. That's a good, that's an even better test, Jacob. If a hair falls out in the sink before you're grooming or anything, you're going to pull that, that brittle boy away right away. When you're in the shower, though, and you pull one out that's like in the drain or on the, the wall, it's just going to go moink, moink, moink. So, yes, it is much more elastic when it is wet. Uh, but that is a big, I don't know if it has to do with head hair or I don't know where that misconception came from. But, yeah, maybe a pick would help. So keep in mind, guys, a pick is only going to give you volume. He doesn't want volume. That's right. going against, and I saw a couple people there said, need a pick, need a pick. No, a pick is only going to compound the issue that he considers to be an issue. So I would, I would strongly discourage any kind of using of a pick in this situation. Just embrace it. If you use anything, you use your hands, right? Our hands are free tools. They work really, really well. So Michael, great beard. Very relatable concept that many of us have experienced, and many of us are like, yeah, man, I know what it's like to step outside and have that, but they both look great. Great head hair, too, dude. Okay, we are back, everybody. We are doing another awesome. giveaway. Mayor, you want to talk about this uh, deal real quick? All right, guys. So right now, using Dan C10 off at, uh, at Johnny Ray's gets you 10% off, and you're getting a free wash bar with using just that code tonight. You, so if you... Purchase something, you forget to use that Dancy 10 code, you're going to be out that wash bar. Make sure you take your time and do that when you're checking out. In addition to that, we are give, doing giveaways. We gave away already tonight a, a beard wash bar. One more of those and a candle as well. There we go. There we go. Okay. So this is going to be a trivia question. Please keep in mind, guys, you need to wait until I say the word G-O to type your answer and hit enter. Also, keep in mind, the internet is going to prioritize your answer over everybody else's answer, meaning it might literally show up on your screen first. That's not the order it shows up for us. All right. So, and again, shout out to Johnny Rays for throwing these ones. We will do the candle on this one. We'll save the, the wash bar for the end, and uh, we will do the candle on this one. Now, I got a couple of options here. I'm not going to go with the easiest one, but I'm going to... <sighs> I'm going to go again with a one-word answer here. A one-word answer. Try your best on this one. Hey, Aaron, welcome on in. Try your best on this one. One-word answer. First one that gets it will be highlighted. I also featured King George V. Now, King George V was not supposed to be King George. His older brother was supposed to take the throne, but his older brother died. One-word answer. What killed his brother? What did his brother die of? One word answer here. And we have a we have a winner right off the bat coming in swinging. That's awesome. My man, actually, this is really cool here. Okay, you see the first one on the screen on both sides. It checks out. Wow, I didn't think all of you were going to get that one. That was pretty good. All right, <laughs> Kobe is not close, but no. So the correct answer is the flu. The correct answer is the flu. His brother died of the flu, and then King George V took over from there. And our winner coming in, growing his beard out, buying a house, doing big things. Couldn't be more proud of this, this man, Mr. Griffin Howell. Congratulations, Griffin. Hey, if you guys could throw a comment in the chat congratulating Griffin, that would be amazing. What killed him? Death. I yeah. They die of death. Michael, death was the <laughs> was the end for him. So uh in a lot of you, Matt, you were second. Uh, Jerry, you were third. Christina, you were fourth. Mm -hmm. uh, Dylan, you were fifth. So they they were coming through. Yo, Bobby he married his brother's fiance. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, he did. He did. That's he did. So his brother dies. Uh, 
His brother dies, and his brother's fiance and him start mourning the death together, getting close, <laughs> and then they marry each other. Uh, maybe, Ooh. you know, back in those days, there weren't so much, like, you didn't have, like, Instagram, right? Correct. So you couldn't be, you know, whoop. Correct. Well, all right, so Griffin, congratulations, man. Go ahead and email uh, info at johnnyray.com and uh, let them know that you won. Uh, so you, this one was for the candle. So Griffin, you won the candle. Uh, pick out whatever scent you would like on that one. Congrats, man. It's not a beard product, but still pretty cool. You walk away with a, with a free candle there, and, uh, and that is awesome. And he did, he did get, re so he tried to marry his cousin first, and he got rejected by, uh, by his cousin. She said no when he asked her so to. Like, uh, hey, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. He asked her to uh, <laughs> to marry uh, to marry the <laughs> the cousin and said no. So yep, yep, yep. Continuing on, but congrats, Griffin. Thank you, Johnny Ray's again. And guys, we're gonna do the the beard wash bar at the end. And if you already won, you can still enter. Don't you worry, man. You can still uh, you can still get this going. All right, let's keep it rocking. This is Vince K. I need some advice on the, from the fellow beard professionals. I've always had trouble with my mustache and beard connection. I grew everything out for about six months and then decided to trim everything up. A friend did it, and it looked good, but a bit short. He has, a, has my mustache gone terminal on the ends, or do I just need growth to cover up the patches to connect? Beautiful, beautiful. And guys, just a reminder on this channel, clear distinction. We talk about history. We go over these things, but we do keep the channel clear of uh, three main things. We keep the channel clear of politics. We keep the channel clear of religion. And we keep the channel clear of Star Wars. Star Wars is just light humor to break up the moment. Uh, but please keep any political or religious, uh, like, dividing points outside of here and oh my gosh john thank you man yeah that, thank you john john just donated 10 memberships to the channel that is awesome man welcome to the new members here uh for any new members you get your name in green you get a logo next to your name you get to use channel exclusive emojis that you can see like this i'll throw some in the chat some other people will too and you get to avoid the slow chat which is really cool that's awesome man i had a really, really good time getting to know John. We talked for like, I don't know, literally six hours. <laughs> like such a good dude down in Florida, man. That was awesome. Awesome. All right, Vince, let's go ahead and check out what you got going here. Boom. Awesome, Vince. Hey, quick. So for anybody watching, if you send in in the future, here's a, a little photographer, a uh, little tip and insight for you. You never want to have light behind you in a photo. You always want to have the light at you, especially anything from like right behind your head it can make it kind of hard to see uh, so just as as like a, it's something that we usually don't learn growing up you know especially as men and uh yeah just try to avoid the light behind you all right vince great style man but let's go ahead and see what he's looking at here trouble the mustache and beard connection got it common um and he said about six months to try to trim everything up a friend did it and it looked good but a bit short has my mustache gone terminal on the ends or do i just need more growth okay so he's saying trimmed it up Looks good. Agreed. Has my mustache gone terminal? No. No. Vince, you look young, man. Yeah. You you look young. You will not reach anywhere near terminal until you're at least 42 years old. So you have no idea what your beard's going to look like in 10, 20 years from now, man. You have a ton, a ton of ways to go. A ton of ways it's going to keep growing. Now... Mayor, in general, with this style of your great head hair, anything that you would add as like, hey, while you're here, as like a tip for any styling advice for Vince? Uh, not to be a broken record, but I do think he could really start to bring that in together for you. Maybe give you a little bit, feel like you're giving him more control, can bring that mustache out a bit. Um, other than that, you know, I, I feel like you're just kind of asking us, are we seeing anything that's like different or in a normal pattern for a younger man and i don't no not at, not all. at all not at all man and by the way guys um i don't even think the mayor knows this but there is a random really good aberlite deal today they have a like 12 days of beards miss and it's the he the aberlite pro is normally like 120 it's marked down to like 90 and they have uh, you can try the mayor's code we don't know if the mayor's code is working or not do you know if your code's working 
the new code, but I don't even know it off the top of okay. my head. Okay. Um, reach out to the mayor on Instagram, guys. Yep. He will get you a code because it does stack on top of the 12 days of Beardsmiths. Or uh, not 12 days of Beardsmiths. The, link, the affiliate link will work. Yeah, but they can stack oh, a code on top it. of the sale. So there's a crazy deal. You can get the Aberlite Pro for like $70, $80 today uh, if anybody's anybody's wondering. So just something to, to consider. Um, <laughs> Austin said, uh, he goes, uh, Wife secretly ordered my Aberlite today. That's too funny. You are not the first person that has said that today. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, it's a it's a great time for it. And I and the person re, a person reached out to me like, hey, I'm skeptical. Is this actually good and worth it? I'm like, hey, I've never made a penny off this company. Not that that matters. But yes, I've used this thing every day for almost three years now. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. So today's a good day for it, guys. Reach out to the mayor on Instagram if you want more details. He'll send you a link, he'll send you sure. uh, a code, or dig in a little bit more. So, awesome. Roger Ian. So this is for, this is for some, where do I go from here advice? This is pretty much straight growth aside from small trimming. I'm right out of the shower with some oil. Should I be in should I be in doubt and grow it out or should I do a small transparency trim? My goal is length, kind of like Dan. I doubt if I can get it as nice as his though. Full disclosure, <clears throat> the month and a half ago, I had a mustache mishap. Ooh. My barber used to buzz down my mustache when my beard was shorter. I forgot to tell him not to do that and he buzzed my mustache down to look to a long stubble. Oh. Ooh. But my mustache said, don't call it a comeback. <laughs> I've been here for years. Thanks for the advice. You got to right. wrap that. Don't, don't call it a comeback. So, no, Mayor, Mayor knows nothing about mustache mishaps, guys. He, uh, if you missed uh, Yo, I, I, the not at all, baby. <laughs> my favorite is uh, the mayor did one of those nose waxing things, right, where you put the, the little like Q-tip <laughs> on your nose and wax. First, you put the thing over your mustache. They do have a mustache Tip. guard. Tip. <laughs> Did you not use it? Well, not correctly. Okay, that's what I thought. And so you put it in there, let it harden, and then you pull it out. He ripped out like a half moon of his mustache. <laughs> it wasn't extremely noticeable, though, but it, it came back decently quickly. I thought so. Quicker yeah, than it was mustache. weird, though. Like I had like these little stubble hairs coming in. On it. Yeah, but it worked out. Yeah. Yeah. He said, doesn't that crap hurt? I'm sure it does hurt. Yeah, I, it's I, not great, but I, the bigger you swing, <laughs> the less it hurts. I bet, I bet. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here at Roger. Roger! Hey, number one, dude, you are wrong. He said that, I doubt I can get it as nice as as his, though. Uh, yes, 100% you can, my friend. Your color's already better than mine. Look at that head hair, like, marbling. Oh, my God, that's The mustache so sets in cool. nice because of coloring. Right, like it, it, you, it doesn't hit. You know, I mean, like I would like to see it fuller, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah, dude, that is, that's a great, great, great beard. Yeah, really, really great beard. Okay, so you talked about the mustache. Don't worry about that, man. Just let it grow from here. And uh, okay, this is pretty much straight. Right now, shower. Okay, so he's saying, am I at the point when I am in doubt and grow it out, or should I do a small transparency trim? All right, so Roger, I would do, I do think it would be a good time for a small trim, a my style trim. Um, I do think your beard, and again, you guys, it could it could always be styling, but I only have what we have to work off of. It does look like your beard is a little bit uneven. This side is shorter than this side here. So I would do just a nice little rounded trim. You see where this is Ving out a little bit right here, Roger? I would start this as your baseline. Right, watch my video from, from Sunday. It'll be an easy guide for you. I'm telling you guys, this is an easy trim, or you can have a barber do it. And uh, I would go from right here. Just a nice little trim, nice little trim. Looks really good. Only other thing I will offer is consider, you already have separation here that looks nice. Consider blending this part of your head hair. Going with a nice little taper fade and, and bridging this beard into the head hair. I think that would really pop. If you really want to go for it, I would go down all of this on the side. You've got the swoop de doop at the top. You got the nice coverage. I would love to see you go shorter. That's the, the swoop de doop and the whoop at the top. The whoop. I forgot the whoop. You yeah. do have the whoop too. Yes. That's yes, yes. the whole deal right there. Is yep. the swoop de doop and the whoop. You do have it. That so is right. That is com that is confirmed. Yep. 
He said, yep, that side always grows faster. So Roger, if you have not already, go ahead and check out, uh, look up on YouTube, Uneven Beard Growth. It's gonna go over some reasons. The number one reason beards grow unevenly is sleeping. I'm guessing if I was one of those like call in uh, psychics that you sleep on this side of your face. That is my guess. If not, then there's another cause for it. Uh, but what you would, what you could do though, is even it out with just small transparency <gasps> trims along the way. But you have a great beard, man. Absolutely great beard. But to answer your question directly, I would, uh, I would 100% make that a trim. Wait, there was a video Sunday. Every Sunday for the last four and a half years, my man. Uh, yep, it was uh, comparing two different beard trimmers on Sunday, and I actually showed them. Yep. Okay, I was growing it out, but uh, but used to do a fade. Yeah, I, with a beard, I really believe in separation from good top head hair to the beard. I I think, man, the fade will look better. I mean, just to be honest. It's the half pipe, right? You go high, low, high up into the beard. That makes uh, sense. Whoop. You got like a little, a little, yeah, a little Tony Hawks right there. Yep. Thank you, Doug. If anybody wants to watch that, uh, pin it and watch it after the stream. Mayor, anything to, to add other than the the whoop? <clears throat> nope. You're you're killing it. That all all that is great advice. But just so you have a really great salt and pepper like balance of your all your hair. So make your you know take, make the most of that. Yeah, and please send us an update. Uh, Judd the studs right. You got the whole package here. <clears throat> I would love an update of a little transparency trim, a little evening and then fade in that side. Woo! Imagine the fade with that little bit of gray in there. Dang, man, that's gonna look good. That's gonna look real, real good. Awesome, Roger. Thank you for sending in, man. I would love to give you a little bit of my confidence, too. Like, I feel like you got a, you, got st you have a great beard. Like Although, a look great what happened beard. to me. You can't just be putting that out. True, you do. <laughs> what you, happened? You do, it will, <laughs> it will rock the world, so. I don't know, man. I would like you to take it, though. You can, yeah. It's not too much. <laughs> right. All right, this is Matthew S. So, I made the move to a shaved head. I promise I didn't dye my beard. Don't know why it looks so different. Lighting, maybe? As you can see in the most recent picture, my question is, how do I go about cleaning up the sides of my neck and do these hairs hit terminal length much quicker? Thanks for all your help and all of the community. All right. So Matthew sent in. We said, hey, man, have you considered bald and bearded? He said, maybe. We said, let's see it. Here we go. Dude. Yes. Dude. Oh, my gosh. She's like a... I feel like I don't know who this is. I feel like we need to... Enter, like, he's like... Right. A, Right. Dude, this massive difference. Never go back to this again, Matthew. Not that you looked bad or anything. Uh -oh. This is just so much better. Mean so, clean. so, so mean much better. Clean. All right. So, what he's asking, and I love the fade into the hair. You killed it, man. Absolutely killed it. It looks wonderful. <laughs> so, Ken, I thought it looks like a mix of Johnny Grooms and then Joe, the owner of Beard Octane. Yeah. He actually looks just like Joe. <laughs> he really does look like Joe. So, that looks great, man. Okay. So what Matthew's asking about is this little side hair right here. Matthew, this is a part of your beard. These are not neck hairs. These hairs over here do reach terminal length quicker. They're gonna stop growing at a certain point. This will not. This is part of your beard. My strong advice to you is leave them the heck alone. Nobody sees that. Nobody sees it as a negative. Nobody sees it in any bad way whatsoever. It is strong. It is wonderful. If you attack, if you attack these hairs, you are going to have to maintain those on a daily or every other day basis, especially because your beard hairs are so dark. Leave them alone. That's your beard. Rock what you got. It looks great, man. I'm going to say Joe, too, I, you know, because Eric's going to go get Joe and be like, look, and I do see the similarities, like the same face shape, but I, I don't see the, I think he's more, uh, the, who's the first, what were the Johnny? Guy? Yeah. Oh, no, that's Joe. I don't, I don't, it's personally. That's Joe. Okay, all right. Yeah. Somebody even asked before me, is that Joe from Beard Octane? <laughs> I saw yeah. that. Yeah. All right. It, that, that is, that's Joe. Joe and then Johnny's the cousin there. Man, that looks like Joe. That's crazy. But so much, like, I feel I like you're going to, and maybe you're in this world already, I feel like you're gonna be like, I can't believe that I waited so long. I can't believe that I waited so long. I really feel like you're gonna be there. This is like the guy I know, and I don't even know you that well, but I don't know who this is over here, all right? I don't, I don't even know who this is over here, 
All right, Michael goes, Joe was my first thought too. All right, we'll, we'll, take, we'll take the point there. No, they both, it, it's just a good look, man. It's, it's just a really, really good look. <laughs> ah, I love it, oh, Eric. Eric. He says Matt's a little better looking. <laughs> Agreed fully. Agreed fully there, Eric. Wait, you're saying he's fully better looking? Oh, yeah. Oh. No, 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 no. Joe, if Joe had better calves, it would make him look better, but oh. he... Uh, you, you, I feel like you could see in his eyes, even in a, like a front, like uh-huh. a profile picture. Yep, you know that he's just feeling the, the, the calf, calf con- pressure. The calf yep. confidence. Yep, yep. It's no lie. Mm-hmm. All right, Matthew, thank you, man. That was awesome. Okay, right. our question segment, guys. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the chat. We have a few starred already. Hopefully they're still here or we'll watch again in the future. We have Jason. I need advice. I always get uh, dandruff in my beard even after I oil and put in beard butter. I wash and condition every few days, and I still get beard drip. Uh, so we have Doug in the chat. Doug, you are the absolute man. If you could, just look up Dancy Bearded Beard Drip, and there's a video on there. So Jason, number one, we got to consider what what beard drift is. Beard drift is dead skin cells building up on the surface of your of your beard and then falling out. So we need to solve what is causing those dead skin cells to build up. Everybody loses dead skin cells. But it's when you don't lose them in a consistent method that causes beard drift. So what can you do? Number 1, increase your water intake. That is the number one cause of beard drift for almost everybody, dehydration. Your skin is not properly getting nourished and it's not properly going through the detoxing phase. When you drink enough water, it pushes all that stuff out. Number two, you need to exfoliate. Get a comb down to the skin, especially in the shower, especially when you wash. That is going to physically break up those dense skin cells and remove them on your terms, not on their terms. Right on their terms, it's coming in your beard, it's showing up on your shoulder. You don't want that. Number three, make sure you're using a good oil. Number four, don't over condition. You said there that you use wash and condition every few days. Throw in some wash only days. And maybe, Jason, you need to wash more. When you guys wash your beard, it goes in and those suds, those bubbles, they break up the dead skin cells and remove them. So it's a lot there, but a super, super rapid fire because I know this can help other people as well. Drink more water, exfoliate with a comb, wash your beard more, and use a good quality oil. Also, make sure that beard butter is not getting down to your skin. Will collagen help with beard drift? It helps with healthy skin, but not specifically beard drift, no. Um, Unfortunately, that doesn't have anything to do with the dead skin cells. So hopefully that helped you, man. I feel like that was a really, really good answer for your question. Hey, Dan, wants the uh, longest beard video you put out? Do you know if people back in the 1800s had uh, beard grooming products like oils? Uh, Yes, they did. So I actually have a video if you look up uh, the history of beard oil. Mine shows up first. And I go through 10,000 years ago the oil that the Aborigines were using in Australia. I go through ancient Egypt. I go through Mesopotamia. I go through the UK. I go through the US and all the, the history of it. So yes, it was normally predicated on the plants that they had around them. So for example, the Greeks loved to put olive oil in their beard. Uh, the Spartans did it as a ritual before their battles. They would literally pour it and comb each other's beard. Little weird, but that's what they did. So uh, yes, they absolutely did that. And, uh, and uh, Paul X-Ray Freak is exactly right. In the Carrier Oils 101 video, I always break down some history on that too. So cool. All right, speaking of butter, do you butter after conditioning? Um, I butter every night. So I wash and condition in the mornings, but your butter schedule should have no impact on your conditioning schedule. Yeah, because you dry your beard fully, you know. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Can you recommend any good Canadian brands? So, Mark, the the options are far more limited there. But I will say the best that I have experienced is educated beards. I don't think you've probably tried any Canadian ones. I have not, no. There's not a lot. I've only, there's only like three or four like really reputable or major ones. Um, So, hopefully that helps out, Mark. There's going to be a lot of beards in Canada too, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, not the biggest population, but definitely cold and, and beards. All right, how long did it take you to go from heated brush to a blow dryer? Um, Ed, I can speak for both of us. We both use both. I, every single day, use a blow dryer and a heated brush. So 
My answer is uh, is never. I, I literally use both every day. What about you, man? Yeah, same. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I don't shed much, nor do I have much breakage. But when I do shed, usually pretty short hair with a white ball. Do these hairs, uh, do these hairs ever have a shot? Uh, not if they have a white bulb. Nope. Uh, G squared, that's just your, your hair cycle running its course, doing its thing like it's supposed to. If it's got a white bulb, don't worry about it. There's nothing you can do to change that. If it's got a dark bulb, that's premature. If there's no bulb, it's breakage. There you go. Uh, do, you guys, uh, do you guys revisit the submission portion in the night? I had a, an advice question I sent in last week and was told it would be answered during the episode. Much love, guys. Hmm. Um, I'm sure Dylan, if it's not for any reason, reach back out yeah. to us and we'll make it happen. Uh, yeah, I think you, act, did you send in during the show last week, mate, possibly on the email? Yeah. Dylan, let, let us know. And, uh, after the show, if we don't cover it and we can even just help you individually, we're not exactly sure the reference. We get hundreds of messages a day. Uh, so it's hard to recall, but, um, if we told you it's on this one, hopefully it will be, yeah, hopefully it will be here. All right. I thought you used beard butter for skin. No. Uh, so, T-Dub, good question here. You can use beard butter on your skin, but not under your beard, right? You said in place of lotions. Yeah. Oh, and you, you went on to say that. Yes. Keep this in mind, guys. I actually talked to someone about this today. The pores of your facial hair are literally unlike any other pore on your body. You do not have any hairs like your beard hairs anywhere else. Not your arm, not your head, not your back, not your legs. Your beard hairs are your biggest hairs, your coarsest hairs, the least amount of sebaceous glands with that area on your face as well. So it's just different. So you can use butter elsewhere, but do not put beard butter into your pores on your, on your beard. Now, some people will get away with this, right? Some people say, hey, again, my Uncle Frank, he puts beard butter only. Some people can do it. But when we're talking about like, averages when we're talking about best practices you want to avoid the beard so really good question there yep all right let's see what else we have here if you guys have more this is the time this is the time do you think about quality beard oils in europe not uh uk um so the only really quality oil in europe that either of us have tried is seven potions uh um, which is uk right yeah they're yeah. in yeah i don't know any outside of the uk i'm sure they're there you know, language is a barrier sometimes. Yeah. Yep, it is true. Hey, Dan, I'm new to the channel. Have you ever used Woody's Beard Oil? I don't think so, Steve. That one does not uh, That one does not ring a bell. Dan, after watching today's wash, uh, wash Your Beard video, I'm wondering if we should use conditioner every time we wash. No. Uh, so, Robert, I do not want anybody to use conditioner more than three to four times a week. And four is pushing it even. Uh, there, Guys, if you get a good daily gentle wash like the solid beard wash bar from johnny rays or from bearded mac or lcw from beard octane you don't have to follow it up with a conditioner i think that's like people's comfort zones i wash and i condition it feels good right very nice but try to wash and not condition be a little bit more gentle it is easier to snag but be a little bit more gentle once you get oil in your beard's gonna be like Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. So give it a shot. Oh, yeah. And we go down to Florida every year, man. Usually on our school spring break. I don't know if we're going this year on it. Sam is putting a lot of peer pressure on me, but my, uh, my financial, my financial uh, mind is saying no right now. <laughs> but, yeah, we for sure will be down to Florida again. I, uh, I'll be, I think I'm on a cruise this year. Are you? Yeah. Okay. That's great. I love cruises. Uh, Dan, when did uh, Beard Butters and Balms come around? Uh, 2011, Dusty. Um, and also your thoughts on Viking Beard Co.? Oh, Mad Viking. Um, so, Dusty, uh, just to be, I've said this a few times on here, I have met the owner in person a couple of years ago, and I did not have a good first impression. He uh, was very dismissive. He rubbed me the very wrong way. However, people have bad days. People deserve second chances. And I'm hoping to... to jump that bridge, bridge that gap at some point in the future. It just has to feel right. So I have not tried those yet, but uh, Beard Balm, Beard Butters uh, began, Beard Balms began in 2011. Beard Butters were invented in 2013. So hopefully that uh, 
that helps. Okay. Let's keep going here. Uh, when using beard butter every night, should you wash out the butter with beard wash every day? Or is it okay to rinse? Uh, Nicholas, depends on the actual beard butter. If it has wax in it, I do recommend washing that out. If it's a light beard butter, something like a weather beard or something like uh, Copper John's, you do not have to wash those out. Those go away. Those are really nice. Really nice. Uh, Mark, reach out to us, man. Uh, send us a message. We would love to give you advice on, on an unscented conditioner. We'd be happy to, to help you that help out with that one. All right, ingredients are iffy. Um, that's a bummer. All right. I don't use my comb in the shower. I use it after I get out and apply oil. Yeah, absolutely. I like, so let's say we're on vacation and I forgot to get my comb off of the the counter and didn't put it in the shower. I hate that, man. I, I hate that. <laughs> Beard butter, I remember you introduced me to that, Dan. Hey, I I think he says introducing you to that. Oh yeah. Oh, funny guy. Yeah. <laughs> funny guy there. Hey, guy, hey, Doug, link, uh, link uh, Beard Tubes Live Bearded uh, Beard Butter video where he talks about he doesn't think Beard Butter has a place in the beard game. I believe he's, he's, he's come back on his word there, but that was a, that was a good video. Ah, I'm just kidding. I can't Here do that. Here we go again. I, I can't be a hypocrite. People change. People grow. People learn and evolve. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Guys, that's a joke. Scuba, we're friends. It's good. <laughs> no, Aaron, I, I would... Bet that there's exactly zero beard oil companies out of Japan. I have a strong feeling that may, if anything, what he said, don't dare link that. Doug, he Doug doesn't have abort. Power. Doug, abort, abort, abort. <laughs> um, Aaron, I would be shocked if there's an actual real beard oil company out of Japan. Um, I don't think beard products are really flying off the shelves in, in Japan. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Spears says, should I comb my beard after the shower before I oil? It's either way. I've actually, I've actually pondered that both ways. If you can do it with no snags, do it. I do actually. But if you do get snags, <laughs> if you do get snags, then just wait until you put the oil in. Uh, but I do. Do you? That's a good question. Do you comb your beard before applying oil out of the shower? Uh, I usually, no, not, not normally. Okay. Not after it dries. Yeah, I don't, I've actually pondered this lately. I don't know if there's a right or wrong answer to that one, uh, but I do. Uh, yeah, no, I, because I like, I like, I will brush it as I apply heat to it with like a blow dryer. And I do, I already like to have the oil in for a little, okay. you know, a while, while that heat's hitting it. Yeah, so me, I get out, I dry it off. I do run a, a comb through. That actually is my meter to tell how damp my beard is. Okay. I can tell how much it, how much is there. Hey, thank you, Scuba. Appreciate you. Uh, tell the tell the missus we said hello. All right, Michael says if you have a curly beard, ten out of ten you, you should comb. Yeah, I think everybody should in the in the shower. Hey, Carlos, you said Costa Rica, super cool man. Just there, my girl. Hey, thanks for stopping in. I saw your vid for Magic City Beard Co. Um, in Southern Florida. Um, Royal Royal is <clears throat> Royal Beardsman's. Yeah, Royal Beardsman is in Florida. Got their hat on yeah, not in Miami. Or no. yeah, actually, so I haven't tried them, Roger. But there is Miami Beard Co. Um, but I have not Black tried Rebel. them. No. <laughs> no, no. Excuse me. Um, with the flaxseed oil. Uh, Bahuat. Bahuat. Yeah, Bahuat's in Florida as well. Yep. That's what I was thinking. Absolutely. Any tips for making the wood part of my boar's bristle brush less oily? I'm going. Uh, Andy, if the if the wood part is getting too oily, it means you're using too much oil. So dial back the amount of oil that you're using. That that should not be happening. Yep. Thanks for addressing my question. What's the shipping on Beard Octane? I have no idea. Um, it'll likely automatically calculate it. Mm -hmm. uh, most companies now have it just set by whatever the shipping cost it's is. It's not gonna be cheap. No, it, you're gonna, yeah, it's not gonna be cheap. Aaron, if you're looking for good shipping from a great company, um, Dr. Nick's Amazing Man Stuff, Dan C is your discount code there. They have $15 flat rate international shipping anywhere in the world, Japan, Australia, you name it, $15. I don't know any that beat that. Yep, I, I don't know any that beat that. I'm going back to a short beard like the mayor, I have a medium one, uh, but it makes it impossible. Florida, man, I, yeah. I don't know if I could maintain my beard like this in Florida. Yeah, you're right. Is there any plans on doing a video date night sense? Not right now. Uh, Sam doesn't like the compilation videos. 
I could make one on my own, but when it comes to, like, I've asked her, she did one a couple years ago, but I'm like, hey, babe, can we do a top? She doesn't like the pressure. She doesn't want to make anybody feel like they're left out. So we just don't do them, right? That's, that's <clears throat> her mindset is valuable, of course. Uh, Dan, so people in history were growing big beards and, uh, with just oils. Uh, do we even need balms and butter? Um, you don't need anything, right? You can grow a beard by doing nothing, literally, right? Not shaving. Do balms and butters help? Yes. Uh, the mayor just went through a period of using less butter and then bumping it back up and talked about his experience earlier. If I don't use butter, I have more breakage. I have more shedding. My beard doesn't feel as right. So is it a need? No. But can it help? Improvement. Yeah, I would think mind. most people in the chat would say that it, it does. All right, so here's good feedback from Ken. He said, your hair acclimates to the humidity after a year or so. I That's great feedback because I have not experienced that because I've never lived in that humidity for a year. And we don't even have humidity in Michigan for a year. So that's really good personal feedback. Magic City. Yeah, we said that, Vado. That's who he asked about. Yep, we got that one. That was the, that was the first one. All right. Good cool. questions, guys. Great good questions. questions. Thank nice. you. Ooh. Bobby P. <clears throat> we got a couple long ones. I'm at around 110 days into my beard journey, and this is usually when I get really discouraged and trim it. As I've gotten into my 30s, I've noticed that my chin grows in nice and thick, but I feel like my sides and under my chin neckline don't grow in quite as fast or thick. Is this normal? I'm going to start an alley cat accelerator routine every night for the sides and under my chin and jawline. I currently use the Brooklyn oil every night until my accelerator arrives. I've also increased my water intake significantly. What are your thoughts on a biotin or a beard vitamin routine? I, I usually style my beard to, to, fit, to my face like the mayor, but recently I've noticed that my chin hairs do not want to form with my face. Even with balm, even with balm. So I started uh, to style it differently. I want to invest in a heated brush, but I'm not sure that I, if I should, or if I should just buy a round brush and use a blow dryer. Thank you for everything uh, you guys do for the bearded community. Without your videos and live streams, I wouldn't be, have the knowledge that I do, and I wouldn't be as confident rocking my beard. Love that. I continue to learn more every day, week, watching you guys, and I'm excited to continue this journey. My son is on the autism spectrum, so I have a lot of stress, but you guys have given me another outlet that I needed, and I'm able to decompress going through YouTube videos at night. Thank you. Awesome, Bobby. Hey, man, we're always here for you, dude. If you ever need to talk, reach out truly anytime. All right, let's take a look at his pictures, and then we'll come back and address uh, the questions one by one. Awesome, man. Love it, Bobby. Really, really good start. Love the shape and style, man. Looks great. Okay. So he says, uh, number one, my chin grows in nice and thick, but the sides and under chin uh, don't grow in quite as fast. Is that normal? Yes. Mm -hmm. Extremely normal, Bobby. Most people have a stronger goatee region than anywhere else on their beard. And then the next is that chin strap area. So, yes, very, very, very simple um, to be normal. And, hey, man, you have a lot of people uh, You have a lot of people reaching out. Ken says, my, son, it, my son's on the spectrum, too. Reach out if you need anything. The mayor and I, the mayor's taught for 20-plus years. I taught for 12 years. Uh, and we are very, very good with really any – that's one good thing with teaching is you, you get – introduced to many situations a lot of training comfortable because learning you know to relate to people and treat them as people yeah you, know, you get used to guess that's what you have to do in a classroom for sure everybody welcome for sure and uh said okay accelerate okay uh vitamins and, and biotin absolutely man mm -hmm. if you look up uh dancy bearded vitamins i have a video of what i recommend if you look up dancy biotin i have all the info in the world yes and yes Take vitamins, take biotin. They will both help. It's not a miracle, but they will help. I'll take the next question. He's yep. talking about the difference. Uh, should I should I consider a heated brush versus a blow dry and round brush? At your link, I don't think a round brush is going to do too much nope. for you at all. Uh, definitely, you would benefit from a heated brush. It's going to just give you that a uh, little bit more shape, kind of like that. I get. And as it grows longer, you're going to need it more and more. Um, you know, you're right there at that point where I would start considering a heated brush as far as the link goes. Because you do have pretty pretty full underbeard agreed fully line. and that's just going to help these sit down a little bit more look a little bit more uniform and you can control where the beard's going underneath so i agree entirely and that was it that was, that was looking for there man you're off to a great start and your styling is actually really on point mm -hmm. like your, your styling right now looks really nice but as it grows longer 
you start to get a little bit more challenging, uh, a little bit more challenges in there. So I do. I agree. I think a heated brush is going to be wonderful for what you're trying to achieve. So awesome, man. Hey, man, you have a lot of people reach out. Uh, my man OG Fitzroy says that his son is on the spectrum. He understands it can be challenging. Chris says, I have a son on the spectrum. Super tough. Uh, I fully <clears throat> I fully understand, guys, and, and have nothing but respect, especially when you embrace it, especially when you try – being a parent, let alone, is, is difficult. You add in some uh, different kind of challenges, and I'm sure that that brings in a lot more too. So, Bobby, man, you got a lot of people looking out, uh, and most of them have an Instagram that is uh, <clears throat> similar to the name they have on here too. And if you need me to connect you with any of these guys, I know them all personally, so I would be happy to, Bobby. If you're like, hey, man, a few guys said something to me uh, about having a son, I would love to talk to them. I will connect you. So reach out. Awesome, thank you, dude. Ian N. <clears throat> Hello, gentlemen. First off, I would just like to say thank you for everything you both do. The channel and the community are amazing. Some background. I've had a short beard on and off for pretty much as long as I could grow a beard. Some years I would even grow it out from October to November to my birthday and in March then shave it all off. That is what I was planning on doing this year, but I discovered your channel looking for product recommendations and have since decided to keep it growing. I do not know... I. I I do know that at some point my job will say that it's getting too long. I work as a bartender, but I'm waiting for them to tell me that. Then you quit. <laughs> what I'm looking for is general advice and styling tips. My last trim before I decided to keep growing it did not go so well. I took it way too far down the right under the sole patch area, resulting in super uneven growth. I do, not, I do know that with time everything will fill in, but I'm worried that my underbeard is going to get super long before the chin hairs catch up. Should I take it all down and just start over? Wait until it gets longer and trim? The next, thing I'm ha the next thing I'm having trouble with is my mustache. I don't seem to grow much of anything right under my nose. Is that common? Uh, so, to work with what, or, so to work with what I have, I keep sweeping it off to the sides. Do you think I should trim it up, uh, and keep it straight down, or, uh, am I do or just keep doing what I'm doing? Lastly, I do have a wave on one side of my beard. I'm almost positive that a heated brush would fix that, but since I'm planning on going longer, should I just wait and get a hair dryer, or is a heated brush still a good investment? Any and all advice is welcome. Once again, thanks for everything you guys rock. P.S. I work most nights, so I won't be able to watch live. I'll definitely watch when I get home. P.S. At P.P.S. A note on my routine: I use beard oil, butter in the morning, and butter in the evening. No heat as of yet. Okay. All right. Awesome. Hope you had a good work shift, Ian. But that's good to know. No heat as of yet. Lots of questions in here. Actually, similar ones to the last one, which mm -hmm. is good. So we'll take a look at the pictures. Same thing. We'll bounce back after this. And, guys, we do have a giveaway at the end. Keep that in mind. Styling, dude. Looking good, man. Looking good. Okay. Great look. Great coverage. Great density. And uh, so one of the questions he had was about his mustache. He said he doesn't have much under the, the nose. I would have... Never. Never noticed that, Ian. I, even looking at it very intently, it just looks like a style. Uh, so is it common? Sure. Yeah, I, I mean, it's that, that's not an issue whatsoever. Keep doing what you're doing there, man. That you're, The mustache looks really, really nice. No issues there whatsoever. Okay. So now he says, but I'm worried about the underbeard. Uh, it's going to get super long before the chin hairs catch up. Should I start over? Or should I trim? Okay. So he believes that his underbeard is longer than his chin, correct? So, Ian, I think there's no trim involved here. Okay, and you can kind of see where he's saying over here, right? The chin dips in more than the underbeard. Ian, heat is going to be your solution. You see this under here? You see this, like, massive void? That's not missing hair. That's your beard on the underneath part shooting forward. All that's going to take is a little bit of adjustment with how you style that. Mayor, do you think that that could be tackled with a heated brush, or do you think a blow dryer well, is better? Well, you asked about should I do a wait for just do a blow dryer. I would think you're ready for both. Okay? Yeah, you're I ready agree. to blow out and use a brush to bring out the volume underneath. I said we don't have uh, length is not much different between your beard and mine. Right, but it's more blowing out the heat of that, and then the heated brush will get those waves out on the side and kind of bring it down uniform in the front. So you're actually ready for both. We just want to balance this here, yep. right? It, it's too far forward. And so just spreading those hairs out evenly, it's going to avoid that that 
that area that you're talking about. Okay. So, and okay, and then answered this question here about uh, ready for it. And they said also, just kind of looking for some general advice and tips. Beyond that, is there anything that, that stands out to you, Mayor? Uh, just great look. Yeah, not really. I mean, he, you know, we might look at the, the fade into the, actually bringing down the fade into the sideburn a little bit, uh, kind of making that balance a little bit more. Next time, you could probably have somebody do that. And then, uh, you know... Depending on what look you're going for, right? Yeah. I'm right you're, there with you. Do you do have like, do you want to clean up in the, in the corners or do you want to leave it? It just depends. I Mary said that beautifully. I agree entirely here. Your look is awesome, but it just depends on what you're going for, right? Your head hair is really polished, really, really, really dialed in. If that's what you're looking for, I would clean up this like portion of the neck a little bit, maybe a little bit up here going into that that burn. But if you're like, no, I have a beard. I want it to be a little bit burly and stuff. Then I think I wouldn't touch it personally. But I might. But he might. Right. Right. That's the difference between us. So it just depends what you're looking for. That was exactly well said. And since we are recommending that, since we talked about that, uh, Mr. Shaver said, I thought a, a heated brush were harmful to your beards. No, that's one of those misconceptions that people have just regurgitated. Heat is bad for hair. It's actually not. I have a video that says uh, heat is actually beneficial for your hair, uh, which has a literal scientific peer-reviewed study that was taking place. And if you do it properly, you use oil on a damp beard, you wait five minutes for the oil to do its job, you don't use heat too hot, you don't use it for too long, it can actually help your beard. We both use it every single day. I don't take lazy days. I used to a few years ago. Because I thought that's what you're supposed to do. That's what everybody said, right? Heat, take a break. When I take a day off of heat, like if I'm on vacation or something, my beard feels awful. It really does. So no, it does not harm your beard. And I would say that we have we have that study, but we also have two great pieces of anecdotal evidence where we both use it every day. So no, I'm nothing to worry about there. Awesome, Ian. Really good entry. Angel P. The last time I submitted back in June to now six months later, with three months to go until my year, I'm still not going to do any major trims. I take biotin daily, but no other vitamins. I use oils and butters daily. I try to use my heated brush every other day. Sometimes I forget. I'm due for a haircut. I usually have a high skin fade. I work in the medical field, so I'm wearing so I wear a mask all day. Mm. My beard just doesn't feel right. Is there any is there any tips you guys have for that? When my beard was shorter, I didn't have much of an issue with it. Okay. All right. And we do have experience with that back in our teaching, and we'll, we'll be able to help you out here. Oh, wow. So that is, that is significantly longer wow. beard, man. Great growth. So June 2nd here, all the way to this bad boy. Love it, dude. Love the color. But let's go ahead and break it down. Okay. He's oil and butter. Try to heat a brush every other day. I'm due for a haircut. He said, <laughs> I love when they put that in because you know they watch the show. Yeah, and they're like, kind of like branching it. Yeah, and they're like, like saying, I don't hey. want anybody to say something. Right, right. Don't say anything about my hair. Yeah. Okay. And so he wears a mask all day. Do you have any tips for that? Okay. Angel, I'm going to combo, and he's in here too right now, man. I'm going to combo two tips into one. I would like to see a small trim. I do think that a small little maintenance trim, maybe a three-fourths of an inch, and just going around the outside and just kind of cleaning this up a little bit, I think is going to be really good for the overall look, and it's going to help for that, that problem that you have with the mask. Now, with a longer beard like you have, my solution was wearing a beard mask, a mask that was made for the beard, but I have a feeling that won't fly with your job. So Mayor, as someone that wore a traditional mask, you didn't have a beard of this length or, uh -huh. or size, but I feel like you might have some, some help there. Was there anything that you picked up that was like, this helped me? You know, it, there isn't really too much you can do. One of the, you know, one of the things is I started using my heat to try, like, I, especially because I do shows at night. I wouldn't use heat in the morning because I knew I was just going to put a mask on, so I would put it on. I'd use it after work to try and, you know, if I was going somewhere and wanted to look nice, just kind of timing things out differently because there's just there's no way you get that pressure it's like uh crinkle in a paper we talked about that there's no it's it just that crease comes in within 10 minutes or so of anything being there you can't avoid that so where you're timing what you're doing is the only thing i can suggest yeah man uh, and he said i can't wear a beard mask i'm sorry dude i i know it's needed for your job i know it has purpose but man 
not to be negative, just sharing personal experience. Masks suck, man. They're just not fun, and they're horrible on the beard. Um, but obviously, it's your job. You got your scrubs on. Clearly, we're not wanting to change any of that. Just try your best, dude. Try it, style it afterwards. It, it, rock with it. Nobody's going to judge you because your beard looked different because you had a mask for your job, right? Um, Bobby, how is the Kushal Bar Pro? Uh, it's small. It's a really, really good quality tool. It's going to last as long as Aberlite. It's really well made, but the teeth are really close together, and it's a really smaller one. Um, I, If I really need to, I can make it work, but I just prefer the, the bigger heated brushes. Did you ever have the Aberlite? You did, right? The Kushal Bar. Or, sorry, sorry, sorry. That Kushal was Bar, my yeah. first one for like a year. Yeah, yep. And, and it does fit with, with smaller ones, but... You would take the Aberlite Pro over the Cushion Bar, sure. right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that, I would too. It just does the job faster. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. Yeah, you can get it done, but it just does it faster. Yep. Okay. Awesome, man. So, yeah, yeah, Ken, you're right. And it, it's bittersweet because Mask actually had two sides. One side, it actually helped beards. There were guys that grew out a beard for the first time and were able to cover it. And then it also hurt bigger beards. So, yeah, it hurt, it hurt bigger beards. Got to look up beard mask. Yeah, man, there's some great ones out there, Jason. I, I never wore a real mask. <laughs> I just wore, like, the curtain that went over the front, and I had no styling problems at all. I'm still surprised they never said anything, but I guess they just didn't want to approach me about Bro. anything. So I'll Yo, take it. Yeah, I'll I take it. So. They're like, I'm not fighting this battle with Dan. <laughs> all right, this is uh, T. Christie. Beard is at, beard at 18 months, and what, and what hair there is is at about 13 months without cutting. Wondering where to go next with my retirement experiment. Thinking of cutting the hair short again, but a hat is helping for now. Absolutely. And uh, Judd, thank you for saying that. I was trying to get to that when I was saying like his job and stuff and I cut myself off. Thank you for doing your unbelievably important job. Uh, my youngest sister works at a, uh, at a big hospital too. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. If heat is not bad, then why limit the temp on the heated brush? Because it can't, okay. it can't be bad. <laughs> All right. Here's, a, here's a, a good example. Pop. Is one pop going to kill you? Is no, one pop no. going to make you obese? No. No. Pop is good. I like good. Too much pop, bad. Okay, here, another thing. Water. Water is good for you. Do you need to limit how much water you drink? I mean, within... You can over drink water. Yes. So it's just like anything else, man. Um, overdoing anything is a problem, right? Overdoing literally anything. Too much oxygen can kill you. So um, you want to limit it just to be within the realm of making sure you're, you're dialing it in. So yes. Um, no, but one pop every day is bad for your beard and body. Very true. Very true. But one, you'll never it's know. Your body, will, your body will never adjust. You'll never know. All right. Let's take a look at T. Chrissy. Woo! Nice. And he did send in pictures of his uh, shorter beard, which was really cool. But we want to focus on, on the advice that he has here. And he says, 18 months, uh, and what hair is there is at 13 without cutting? Very cool. Uh, wondering where to go next with my retirement experiment. I love that. Okay. So do we think, guys, he's leaving us with an open-ended question here. Do you leave it on... Do you leave it on a on a short beard, or do you go down to a short beard? Does he keep growing? Does he change the style? He's got an experiment. We got a blank canvas. I'll comment on the hair. Yeah, uh, I th you know I think that you have enough hair. I, the keeping it long in the back, kind of like a regular look. If you want to do that, it works. It balances well, but you would pro probably get a younger look with shorter hair. Like you know, I think you still have that just for the head hair part. For the head hair, yeah. I think you do whatever the hair is. I think it would pop more with a shorter hairstyle, too. I I think for the head hair, if you're if you're asking, hey Dan, give me your unfiltered thoughts. Don't hold back, dude. I'm retired. I got nothing loose. Tell me, tell me straight. I want you to go bald and bearded. I want you to take uh, all the head hair off. It will look younger. I think you have a great shape to your head. I think you will look younger. I think the mayor's spot on correct. I, I want it all the way down. I want it razored, not just buzzed. But I want it razored, man. Now, <laughs> look at Jason. Join us. <laughs> now, what is the beard? Man, I don't know. I don't know, T. Christie. 
I love it. I, I think if you're gonna, if you would be on board with doing the hair, we we revisit. Yeah, I don't know. You I know, think that's a good call. Sets up. I think that's a good call. If you go and you join the the shiny head crew and you take it all the way down, let's see where the beard is at from that point. My gut is telling me a little bit of a transparency shaping trim right here, about one inch. Right, this is where it starts to to thin out a bit right here. About one inch, but then we round it at the bottom. Give yourself a little bit of a look here. But man, you got a super distinguished look. I love the dark mustache ombre into that lighter color beard. Really, really, really cool. Really cool. Yeah, everybody's loving the color, man. All right, and everyone's saying leave it alone. There truly is no problem right now. So I think the mayor actually has the right call. If you are considering going bald and bearded, do that and then send back in and let's evaluate. Let's see what, what it looks like. If not, hey, thank you, Angel. Thank you for joining uh, the membership. If not, okay, Mary, if you, let's say, nope, I'm, I'm not doing that to the head hair. Thoughts? I, I might go a little shorter with the beard. Okay. I might do that transparency trim you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, just so tough. Uh, yeah. So tough. Yeah, looks good. Keep us posted, man. Whatever you go yeah. with, keep us posted. That's a really cool one. Everybody is loving this beard. I'm so glad that you did this experiment. Yeah. Looks really cool. Thank I would you. be curious, and if you do update, give us some feedback on, not that it matters, but give us some feedback on the people around you in your life and what they have shared with you. Are they fans of it? Or do they give you a hard time? Is it, eh, doesn't, doesn't really phase them? I, I, I would be curious to know on that one. Hi, this is Dylan S. <clears throat> I've had a beard of various lengths, but never, but never past where it's at now. I'm looking to grow out my beard medium long or so for the first time and wanted to get your thoughts. As you can see, I don't have much under lip coverage and my mustache isn't too thick as mentioned earlier. Just one of your guys' thoughts on if treated well, whether or not a fullish looking long medium beard is workable in some fashion. I know I'm young and that plays a factor, but this is... But this is the coverage I've been working with for the past few years. Okay, cool. Let's take a look. Um, Jenny, yes, I have judged uh, several beard competitions, ranging from kind of thrown together but not the most legit to, like, super legit ones. So, yeah, thank you for asking. All right, let's take a look, Dylan. All right, Dylan. Oh, this is – I think this is what Dylan asked about earlier. Yeah, so thank you, Judd. Okay, yeah. So, yep, if I'm – it was Dylan that asked. Okay, man. Again, talking about style, we have such cool, diverse style tonight. Yeah. All amazing. All right, questions here. Lip coverage, mustache isn't too much thick. Just thought of, uh, all right, thoughts on his mustache? Uh, no. Yeah, I, no. I don't yeah. want to say you're wrong, but you're wrong, Dylan. You're just, you're basically, you know, you're growing so thick underneath. Right, right. You're like, why isn't everywhere like that? That's, that's how a beard grows. Yeah. I, I get that, you know, I totally understand that, but it just is going to, you're doing so good. Like you have your your strength areas, and I'm the same way. And it's like, why can't I do that everywhere? So that's just kind of part of the natural process of like some areas grow faster than others. Yep, absolutely. And uh, he said, um, I didn't know if they did all the questions. Like, oh yeah, nope, you're on, man. No, no worries whatsoever. So your mustache is fantastic. Yeah. You gotta get that out of your head, dude. That, that's that's you just being your your own worst critic. Um, I know coverage. Yeah, your beard looks great. Mm. Uh, general advice, you're doing great, man. No, you truly yeah. are doing great. Definitely I wouldn't embracing the natural curl and it works. You yeah. Know, the natural curliness in the beard. Yeah, I would not change a thing right now. As you grow, keep staying in touch with us. It looks like maybe your underbeard here, your side grows faster than the chin, but we won't know until probably a couple of months from now. And then, uh, and then we can go into like this area up here, whether we want to fade it or tuck it. You, you've got so much potential, man. So much potential. Yeah, it looks great. Thank you for sending in. And hopefully you'll listen and be like, yeah, your mustache is great. There's guys out there that are like, dude, I would kill to have that mustache. So, yes. All right. All right, guys. Last thing of the night. We got one more giveaway. And this giveaway is going to be for the Solid Beard Wash Bar from... Johnny Ray's, it's a daily gentle one you can use every day. Um, I actually brought this on the cruise with me, and I used it every single day I was on the cruise with my dad. Every day. And that was in 
uh, in the Gulf of Mexico, in the ocean, in the pool, all sweating, playing pickleball every morning. It was wonderful, man. Absolutely wonderful. So, Mayor. Well, I was going to ask them, can I plug up Beyond Bearded? Kind of a new format. Yeah, while we're first still here. just tell yep. them the deal real quick. Sure. And then, yeah, big announcement too. ANC 10 is going to get you 10% off until midnight tonight if you're watching with us. Um, and you get, and this is huge, a free wash bar with any oil, butter, or balm purchase tonight. That's, that's, uh, they're telling you, we want to get this product in your hands and they want you to try it because it's amazing. So, this is for the Beard Wash Bar, and they're going to get to pick between. On the 1947 Clarity Embark or London Fog Scents. Yes, sir. All right. Big news, too, guys. Oh, Beyond Bearded is going to be moving to 8 p.m. rather than 9 on Sundays. And this week, I think it's going to be a pretty cool show. Put it down to watch. Me interviewing Dan. We're going to like move into like trying some of the interview styles. And Dan was nice enough to give up his time. And listen, guys. I get to ask the questions that I want to ask, and I think you maybe will get a good insight into our friendship. You'll get a good insight into how the channel works, the things, our dreams, our like. It is going to be uh, different than anything you've seen, and I'm really looking forward to it. Yep. And again, guys, that is going. This only beyond bearded. No confusion here. Right. Only beyond bearded is shifting to 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're hoping that it, it shakes the trees and gets a new crowd in, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy some interviews. I think it'll be pretty good here. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. That, that reminds me, too, something I can tell you after that. But sure. here we go, guys. This is a trivia question. We don't normally do this, but have a little fun tonight. Switch it up and uh, reward those that watch and retain. And, and again, we want to we keep it fresh, right? We want to keep it fresh here. So how it's going to work is I'm going to ask you guys a question. It's going to be a one-word answer again. Do not type your answer and hit enter until I say the word that's spelled G-O. And then it's the first person that shows up on our screen with the correct answer. We have two screens where we can check to cross verify here, actually. And uh, with this, guys, understand the internet may prioritize your answer over everyone else's. When you hit enter, it shows up on your screen right away. That doesn't mean that it shows up on everybody else's. It may show up first on yours and be 10th on ours. We can only go by ours. So I know that that can hurt. I know that can be like, oh, and feel like you got it. Trust me, I got it. I understand. But we're just having a little bit of fun tonight. All right. One word answer here. And wait until I say G-O. The first beard on the 12 Days of Beards Miss was Rolo the Viking. Massive human. Over 300 pounds. 6'5". They called him Rolo the Walker because he couldn't ride on a horse. Truly. <laughs> but my question to you is, what is the name of the modern-day region where he settled. It is a very specific answer. Go. What is the name of the modern day region where he settled? Go. It's a very famous region. All right. We do have a winner here. We do have a winner here. All right. Boom. This is the correct answer. Okay. Got our first place yep. winner here. Bye. All right, Bye guys. Knows. The correct answer is Normandy which we know later in history, obviously, is a massive part of world history, right? Normandy, the beach, uh, all that. Don't get me started. But our first one on our screen, I'll tell you second place was Chris D. I'll tell you third place was Jason B. But first place is John A. Everybody throw a congrats in the chat for John. You have one, John, I'll put up the email on the screen in just a second here, uh, but it is Normandy where he settled and uh, wasn't the best land, but he converted it and changed it. It was like kind of swampy, marshy land, and he was able to convert it into beautiful, really nice, um, great land that, that still to this day is a very, very popular place. All right, so John, congrats, man. Here's the email. Reach out to info at johnnyray.com. Don't forget the dash and let them know that you won the giveaway. And this is for the wash bar. And you get to pick between those scents that are on the screen right now. Awesome, man. Yeah. Guys, hey, this was a great show. Mayor, next week, how do they get involved on the show? Uh, send in your photographs front and side, plus a few comments or questions to beardadvicelive at gmail.com. Dan or myself will get back to you usually within the week and let you know for sure that you're going to be on that show. Yes, absolutely. And I'm glad you guys are digging these ones. Mark, you're right. He did not put up with uh, with any crime. 
he actually had essentially the death penalty for any crime. No matter what it was, you were going to be killed and usually killed publicly and horrifically uh, to send a message for everybody, which we've seen that through many civilizations. The Inca, for example, in South America and Peru, they had no, they had no jails. Everything was the de death penalty. So you wouldn't be the guy deciding what's a crime. Yeah, for sure, for sure. In the rules. Yep, and they, again, they were super harsh. Um, other civilization, I mean, that's eh, one way, one way to, to bring it down. So, no, just kidding. But I love history, man. All right, guys, let's go ahead and, and wrap this bad boy up here. Thank you for watching. 12 days of Beardsmiths. We're only on day three. You guys got nine more days coming, and we've got the normal videos. we got the live streams. 8 p.m. on Sunday. Be there. He's going to interview me. I don't know the questions. I don't want to know the questions. Hopefully you guys will see uh, a really fun time on the mayor's first, I think, first ever interview. Yeah, sure. Uh, guiding an interview. Absolutely. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been interviewed. Right. Guiding the interview. Awesome, guys. Hey, thank you for watching. Thank you for contributing to this community far beyond beards. That means so much to us when someone says, hey, man, I have a lot of stress in my life because I have this situation. And we have literally three people that say, I can relate, reach out to me. Right. Like, that's that's beyond beards, guys. That's what Sunday shows about, Fair too. Enough. So please reach out if you guys ever need anything. You guys know we got you. Other than that, Mayor, anything else? Nope. I am uh, just really looking forward to the holidays. We got some time off. Uh, Still doing the shows. Have a great, great week, guys. All right. See you guys.